All right, I didn't remember how much stuff I had until I started getting it out. Uh, here's all the head covers. And they're okay. This ping one? Ping one? Not ping one. It's all some kind of whacked out conspiracy. Is kind of interesting. I don't know. It's got a it's got a dark spot yeah, right there. It's got a dark spot on it. But I know some of those older ping head covers can do pretty good. But these are all really, really dirty. I don't know if I want to take the time to clean them. I got these shoes, uh, ortho fits. And something, something's kind of wonky there with that sole. Might just need to be put down in there, but in really good shape. I was kind of surprised by the comps on these. These are Skechers. And I've kind of changed my mind on some of this stuff. Like I normally didn't look at Skechers, but I heard somebody, probably Harry Tornado, talking about Skechers because he sells a lot of shoes. He said, don't overlook them. You know, there are a lot of cheap ones, but there are some good ones too. So I did look these up and I was fairly surprised on what these go for. But yeah, another pair of Skechers. I don't know if they could have been worn all that much at all. Three pairs of new jeans. These are Dickies. Uh, 40 by 30. Brand new pair of Magellans, 3830, and then another pair of Dickies, another 40 by 30. This one doesn't have the actual tags on it, it just says the sticker, but I don't think anybody would wear that with the sticker on it. And they do, they do look brand new. And then I got this golf shirt, Taylor Bird is a pretty good brand pretty good sell through rate on these it's got the little bird on it. i've never seen that before and that's why it caught my attention so uh, that is part of it and i will show you the rest here in a sec some of this is from that private pick and then some of it's from a few estate sales that we went to afterwards so first with the records that was from the private pick got boston second record chicago Paradise Theater by Styx. We got Toto. Best of the Doobies, Volume 2. Another Styx. Billy Joel. Sorry about the glare. Neil Diamond, Jazz Singer. And Steve Martin. And those are all in fairly good shape. I mean, they're worn a little bit here and there. The sticks is like immaculate for some reason, and the toto is really good too. But you know, they all have. This one's got Roseanne on it. So I mean, a lot of these have the hits on them, and it's the ones that people are looking for. So um, I got these books there too. It's the whole series. The Colliers, that's how you say that, Junior Classics. It looks like they go for about 30. Sometimes free shipping, sometimes with shipping. Um, I got this leather, man. This is actually really good. Some leather tool. These go for about 50 bucks. You know, it folds out. It's got all that in there. But I was fairly surprised by that one. Uh, got a rocket fish. This is brand new. These go for about 25 I think. Brand new tables. I knew that rocket fish brand was pretty good sometimes. Uh, I got this Sony MP3 player. I need the cable for it. It's got the headphones, but I don't have the cable to charge it, so I'm going to look for one of those. And see if I can find one of those. Got the Sennheiser headphones. These are the HD 400S, that's like a little bag or something that comes with it. I found that after I found the, the headphones. But yeah, same model number over there. I got these Radio Shack headphones. This model number is underneath this, I believe. Yeah, Pro 35A. And they're pretty good too. I think those are about 25. The Sennheisers, I'm not sure. I have to look up comps on those again. They were pretty good. 
And then I got the Samsung DVD recorder. No remote, unfortunately, we couldn't find it. But it does work. I plugged it in, opened it up. Uh, so hopefully it'll work fine. But they're not quite as good as like the uh, Magnavox and stuff like that. These are probably $50, $60. It's still pretty good. This will probably come close to paying for about a third of what we spent there that day. It's brand new. It, the box is open, but it's all sealed inside there. But yeah, I just I had no idea what it was. I just I looked it up. Some kind of equalizer. But yeah, that's a good one. That's close to a hundred on that one. And then at some of the other estate sales that we went to, the last one we went to the other day, picked up these. It was like 65% off or something. I paid about three or four bucks for that. And those are going for about 25. Uh, and then another estate sale, I got this code reader for Fords. And I've seen just this part right here go for about 25. But this has got the book with it and everything. So I don't know, might get a little bit more. Might not make a difference at all, I'm not really sure. I got this, uh, this uh, what do they call these, marker lights. I got this marker light, and I think it's for a Ford truck. I actually haven't looked it up yet. It's got a model number on the side. These are really interesting, because these might pay off really good. They were kind of expensive. I did take a risk on them. Paid $7.50, everything was 50% off at that point that day. This one's a little dirty, but these are like construction pressure gauges. And I've sold gauges before, like for cars and stuff like that, and those generally do pretty good too, just depending on what brand and whatever. Paid 10 for that one. And that one looks brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. If it has, it was very lightly used. Ones that are all sold are new. That's the only thing that concerns me a little bit, and these are pre-owned so yeah pretty good haul um oh forgot this i took a chance on this just because i thought it was cool this was at that estate sale also it's a he old houston oilers soap dispenser <laughs> and i don't think it's ever been used but i just know that old houston oilers stuff does really good and it's officially licensed just needs to be cleaned up on the top a little bit but pay, I think I paid a dollar twenty-five for that or something like that. It was five dollars. The funny story about this is that the this estate sale was actually split up between two weekends, and they did the house on the first weekend, and then they did the garage on the second weekend. In addition to the house, and everything in the house was marked sixty-five percent off for the second weekend. So, and when we got there, everything in the garage was fifty percent off because it was the second day. And this was still there. It was pretty funny. I almost thought about getting it the first time around. But it was still there, so I just thought, hey, this is... And I should pick it up. But I don't know. I don't know how that'll do. I just thought it was kind of cool. So, yeah. Pretty good haul for this weekend.